Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today, we're going to look at a project called Gator Poon. Gator Poon is a comedic improv group on YouTube that challenges each other by constantly putting each other on the spot. Well, let's see what uh, constantly putting each other on the spot looks like. I actually became a bull rider. Oh, that's not a journey. That's... I actually got banned from the state of Texas because I was so good. What? Wait, were you an actual bull rider? Or was this Dude, just a I journey? was an actual bull rider. Dude, I mean, think about this, too. right? Taking it by the horns, uh, I literally did. He's good at that. You know he's good I mean? at taking it. I fought a guy at a bar one time, and I beat him up in my words. This guy was in a good position. He said, I said, what do you do, buddy? He says, I'm going with it. So they do this rambling shit for seven minutes straight for God knows what reason. I think they think they're being funny. I think that's what they think they're doing. But I feel like once you go back and watch the video, any normal person would be like, we're just saying a bunch of dumb, random shit. I mean, it's 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 so far from being funny that I, I couldn't possibly see myself doing this for seven minutes and say, oh, that, that was a good use of my time. I should upload that to YouTube. What a hilarious shtick that was. Talking about a bull. Oh, man, that was, that was an epic win. They No, they wouldn't. They're not going to stop halfway through. I went all the way through it. They don't stop halfway through and say, Hey guys, this is a gag we're doing. This is a Kickstarter project. Let me tell you about it. Fucking nothing. It's just like, no, here's some uninteresting bullshit for seven minutes. Enjoy. We have about 20 videos currently on YouTube. Check them out. Just search Gator Poon. I'll put a link down below to Gator Poon. You guys can check it out yourself. It is incredible the amount of retardation these guys exude on a, on a, on a weekly, on a bi-weekly basis. They have a lot of videos. They haven't made one in three weeks, but I'm only guessing that's because they're, you know, busy, busy at work. Really fucking busy at work. Morse Madness, yo! Yeah. And you said, hey! <laughs> Coming live from a little place you might know it, none of your fucking business. And you know it. You know it's true. My pants Except are high as fuck, dude. Life. Boom. Accept it. Another video where they're rambling about bullshit. America. Um, if you don't see that, that's... It's American not, boots. <laughs> Those are real boots. Don't hate just because you're fake. Another classic Chris Gaines line. So, did I tell you about how I'm getting into the gang business? Oh my fucking god. His real name was the Goat Sucker. He had a spike tongue, came from, res you know, Resurrections. Landed here, mated. With we don't know with what, but then all of a sudden he just started sucking goats. So, to make a long story short... This is what they do in their videos. This is all they fucking do in their videos. They ramble on about stupid shit. And uh, the icing on the cake is that in every video description they write, Gator Poon is 100% improvisation. Oh, you don't say. 100% improvisation. That's fucking incredible. Watch out, Colin Mockery. Gator Poon's on the loose, and they're coming for your job. Accept it. These guys really know improv. In fact, what I'm doing right now is fucking improv in these guys' book. Just rambling about a bunch of horse shit until, until your mind just wanders and creates a character or something. They say that they challenge each other by constantly putting each other on the spot. Well, let's, uh, let's see an example of them putting each other on the spot. I went downstairs, I went downstairs, I looked in the fridge, and what I saw was some spaghetti in there with uh, some nice, just giant meatballs. Of course. Now, and how did you prepare these meatballs? Are they just regular meatballs, or do you mm. put Italian seasoning? Holy shit, these guys are comedic geniuses. <laughs> they do a Italian seasoning, or what? What sort of thing? What, how do you prepare these meatballs? This guy... Reminds me a lot of Dead Rotated Wham, only a much more retarded version of Dead Rotated Wham, because Dead Rotated Wham was able to keep it together all the way until the last word, serve, and he like broke down. This guy broke down from the f very fucking beginning. Do you need some Italian meatballs on it, or a, a marinara seasoning? <laughs> We want to get better, and to get better, we need cameras, editing software, and people to help film. Oh, you hear that, guys? They're gonna get better by buying shit. Oh, who knew it was that easy? Your comedy is all of a sudden going to be funny if you buy camera equipment. 
Awesome. I should I should do Maybe that worked for me. I did see a spike in subs when I bought a camera. Oh my god. No, in all honesty, there's no way you can make their the bullshit they're doing better. You know, they they, they got to be funny from the start. See, the camera equipment that is just like in, increasing the production quality. It's not going to be improving the content. I I feel like I'm doing that a lot. Am I doing this a lot? Let me know if I'm doing this a lot, guys. I don't know what the symbol is. It's a universal symbol for I'm trying to get something out of my head. Fuck. Funding is obviously the biggest problem. We have a good system in place and do not anticipate any setbacks. The only risks and or challenges we would face are unforeseen. Wow. Uh, that's convenient. The risks are unforeseen. Really, are they unforeseen? Because I'm sure there's uh, plenty of risks that are foreseen. You go on your YouTube page, you say, Oh, well, look at that shit. We have zero likes on our videos. We have fucking hardly any views. The 50 views that we have on a video are from iDubs, Gator, and Poon, and the old guy that's featured in a couple videos. So, yeah, that's one fucking risk that, that's foreseen, is the fact that you don't get any goddamn views, and you give, if you get $5,000, you're still not going to get any fucking views except from this fucking guy. And the subs that I bring to your channel, you dipshits. Now let's take a look at those beautiful reward tiers. For $50, that's right, the lowest reward tier is $50. It's also the highest reward tier. For $50, you get a Gator Poon t-shirt. A $50 Gator Poon t-shirt. That's how we'll do it. That's how we'll raise the money on Kickstarter. We're gonna sell some t-shirts. Yeah, this could be a Gator Poon sketch idea. We, we sell t-shirts on Kickstarter. We do it, we do it hard, and we do it fast. Say a bunch of bullshit. I don't, like, I don't want to, like, mock them by doing what they do because what they do is so fucking bad. Like, I keep on thinking, oh, it's gonna be such a good gag to make fun of them by doing what they do. But what they do is garbage stank. It's actually pretty sad that their Kickstarter project is this bare bones because they have, you know, 20 videos uploaded to YouTube and they haven't embedded a single one. I mean, at least Quaffine had the decency to link his Instagram on his page. Th these guys, they're, they don't even link their YouTube. They just say, fuck it, just, just search it, man. Just search Gator Poon. You'll find us. This next video is going to be a slight deviation from the normal Gator Poon shenanigans, and uh, it's going to involve a little bit of a little bit of dancing. Who doesn't want to see a Gator Poon crew dance, huh? Oh, welcome to Gator Poon's dojo! I gotta turn this a little bit, guys. There we go. We're dancing this song, this song only. This is really sad. This is sad in so many different ways. I think they they legitimately think they're fucking funny guys, which is sad because this shit wasn't even funny when YouTube was invented. Like this, this is awful. This is like, you know, eight year old. This is eight year old iDubs uh, recording a stupid video where you set up the camera and dance in front of it like a goddamn idiot. This is they they probably said to themselves, this is gonna go viral. Oh yeah, this is gonna go viral. We're in the workplace, we're dancing in the workplace. This will go fucking go viral. Holy shit, we got naked, bro! Ah. Ah. Shit's getting serious. Shit! If the most interesting part of your video is some old man taking off his shirt and swinging around like a lasso in the back, and he can't even commit to that, he goes back in his cubicle and puts it on, then you're in big trouble. I don't think you're gonna make it in, in the comedy business, okay? I wonder if these guys were dancing during work hours or if that was their lunch break. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to get anyone fired, but, you know... I'm just saying, guys, you might not want to post videos online if you dance in the workplace because maybe, maybe head bitch in charge is gonna 
drop the hammer and then you won't be able to make any more gator poon videos in the office because if you look at all their fucking videos 90 percent of them are in the fucking office for some fuck all reason we love what we are doing but we want to be better with your help we can we are also always looking for suggestions on how to make it better so don't hold back you heard him guys don't hold back those are their words not mine don't hold back so yeah, guys, that's Gator Poon. Gator Poon, the most funniest group of guys on the internet. They go and subscribe and give them my love. Seriously, though, if you go to their page and you look at their videos, I guarantee you'll have some laugh. I don't know if the laugh will be out of pity or, like, you'll be laughing at them and not with them or what the laugh is going to be because there's a lot of laugh confusion when you go to their channel, but... You know, go over there, you know, snoop around a little bit, see what they got going on. You'll notice that there are some themes. You'll, you'll maybe learn that one guy's name is Gator, the other guy's name is Poon. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you enjoyed watching Gator Poon. I will put the link down below to Gator Poon's channel and their Kickstarter project. Thank you so much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the video, remember to share it, remember to like it. We are almost at 100k subs, baby, and I'm, I'm sweating at the teat. I, uh, I have some videos planned, and uh, I thank you guys prematurely. Thanks! Uh, see you... Remember to the next time when I... When I talk about Gator Poon. There's no the top five MCs. There's just your fucking opinion of who the top five are. Am I... Is it... Is that so fucking stupid? You guys might be wondering what the Ron Alexander show is. Well, it's a variety show featuring all sorts of cool underground hip-hop artists and uh, they sort of just uh, do their thing up on stage. Remember to the next time when I... when I talk about Gator Poon. Gator... you know what Gator Poon is? Let me tell you the history about Gator Poon. You see, Gator Poon all started with his gator. He, he, he crawled up to me. And, and he started chewing chewing on my poon. And I said, get off, you filthy gator. That's not for you. That's for my lover. I'm trying to give my lover my poon. I'm not even exactly what, sure what poon is. Define poon. Well, I know what poon tang is. A woman or woman regarded solely in terms of potential sexual gratification. That's awful.